So the next set of techniques, uh, as far as the basics go in Jinkan, is the Koshi Sapo Gata, which are made up of three techniques. Ichimonji no Waza, Kicho no Waza, and Jumonji no Waza. The first technique you're going to see here is Ichimonji no Waza. Hajime! Okay, so looking at Ichimonji no Waza, I'd like to go over some of the key points. So, both people first start off in Gyokuru Ichimonji no Kamae. In okay, Gyokuru Ichimonji no Kamae, you want to take a 50 50 stance, okay? Your arm's at a 45 degree angle, your back hand is on top okay, of your elbow here, and your thumb is up, okay? What this is doing is creating distance, okay? If I were to take a Togakure Ryu stance, okay? You back here, he does the same, take the stance. Now look at the distance. I mean, it's totally different here. So this creates a close stance, okay? So, starting here, okay, he punches, you want to step off and strike. The whole body is going to strike out. I strike out, I step up, strike down. Okay, so what you actually have is from here, boom, it's this, this type of movement. Okay, so again, more time. So if you have this in a realistic time, no! So this is how it would look more realistic with force and power. These are the things that you can do on your own. Obviously, you don't want to hurt your opponent. Okay? So to get this proper body alignment, this is how these techniques are going to work. I'll demonstrate the same for the next couple of techniques. Okay, so the next technique in the Koshi Sampo Gata is Hicho no Waza. Hajime! Okay, again, I'd like to go over some of the points of this technique, Kicho no Waza. The first thing that's important is, again, to get the, the good distance, okay? So your opponent's going to start off in Yoko, Yoko Yuchi no Waza. Okay, you're going to start off in Yoko Yuchi no Waza, Kicho no Kumai. Okay, when the person punches down, you're going to drop with the whole body. Drop down, okay? And as you drop down, you sweep up. This is first point. So again, again. So from here, drop down, drop in with your, your knees here. So think about this here. Drop. Drop and sweep. Okay. So from here, drop, sweep, kick. Step forward, shito. Okay, again, udo shito. You've done all these techniques in the Sanshi no Kata. Now you're applying them again in a different situation. Okay, so one more time, slow. Drop down, sweep up, kick up. Strike through. Another key point is when you're kicking, so the basic technique, okay, what you want to do is you want to get your toes, this part of your toe, into the armpit here. So kick up, then strike down. Okay, so done it real time. So the third technique in the Koshi Sampo Gata is Jumonji no Waza. Jumonji no Waza. Hajime! Okay, so for Jumonji no Waza, Again, I like to go over the key points. So again, I'm starting off in Jumonji no Kamai. Okay, he's starting off in Gyokuri Jumonji no Kamai. He's gonna step forward, I'm gonna lean back, but as I lean back, I'm gonna strike up. His arm's gonna go up, it's gonna create an opening. That's 
that's when I can come in with the Boshi Ken. Okay? Before he go, as he gets ready to punch again, I'm going to give him fingers in the eyes just so that he doesn't come in right away. This is going to stop him. He's then going to punch it again. Strike up, in, fingers, step back. One joke of mine. Again, this side. So from G1 to my, step back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step back. Okay, one more time, real time. 